Hello, and welcome to Animal Digest. Dogs are undeniably our loyal companions and best friends. They are protective, territorial, and are a member of the family. There are many different breeds, and for current and prospective dog parents, sometimes this can be tricky. If you are planning on getting a terrier, or just want to know more about them, stay tuned. In this video, we will highlight the difference between an Airedale Terrier versus a Welch Terrier. But before we get into the furry details, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated on all the fun facts and pet information we have in store for you. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Spunky and lively are two obvious traits that ring a bell for pet parents and lovers of terrier dogs. Truth be told, many describe their personalities as anxious and argumentative. The terriers were bred to chase and slaughter vermin and to watch over their family's property. The terriers are great pets, but like some dogs, they have a tendency to be stubborn and require specific grooming. In this video, we are comparing two terriers. The Airedale Terrier versus the Welch Terrier. Number one, other names, Airedale Terrier. The Airedales are also known as Waterside Terrier, Bingley Terrier, and Irish Red Terrier. It's a very beautiful purebred dog and originated in England. The Airedale Terrier is grouped as a hunting dog and does well with new owners. Welch Terriers. The Welch Terriers are known by only one other name, Welchie. Sounds like a cute little name, right? The Welchies originated in Wales and like the Airedales, they are purebred and were bred for hunting. The Welchies do better than the Airedales with new owners. Number two, size. Weight and height are the most distinguishing features among the two breeds. Airedale Terrier. The Airedale is considered the largest of the terrier breeds and is sometimes referred to as the king of the terriers. Male Airedale's weight ranges from 50 to 70 pounds and females from 40 to 45 pounds. Both female and male Airedale's height ranges from 20 to 24 inches tall. Welch Terrier. The Welchie is a smaller dog and resembles a miniature Airedale. This breed's weight for both males and females ranges from 18 to 23 pounds. The Welchie height ranges from 14 to 15 inches tall. Number 3. Coats, Colors and Grooming Airedale Terrier the Airedales have two layers of coat, which is a wavy, wiry, dense, and rough top coat and a soft and short undercoat. Their coat color comes in tan, grizzly, and black. Grizzly means a dark brown color similar to a grizzly bear. The standard coat length is medium and often covers the legs and body. Shedding is low and they tend to shed only at certain times of the year. Brush weekly to keep their coat in good condition. Brush their teeth two to three times per week, trim their nails and clean their ears twice per month and bathe when needed. The Airedales require full grooming at least three times per year. This includes hair trimming, clipping, or stripping to remove the dead coat and to stimulate a fresh, healthy, growing coat. They require daily exercise and training should include socialization, which is the ability to get along with other animals. Welch Terriers. Welches have two coats, which are a hard, wavy, and wiry outer coat and a short, soft undercoat. Their coat colors come in one pattern only, tan and black. The Welch's coat requires higher maintenance than the Airedales. They shed none to lightly. Brush every other day to keep their coat in good condition. 
like the Airedales, brush their teeth two to three times per week, trim their nails and clean ears twice per month, and bathe when needed. However, they require full grooming every two to four months. Number four, characteristics. Shared characteristics. The Airedales and Welches share many similar characteristics. Both breeds are alert, intelligent, playful, independent, free-spirited, and loyal. They have a high level of intelligence, making their trainability a five-star. Airedale Terrier. The Airedale Terrier is quiet and patient with kids. However, it will not withdraw nor shy away from protecting its home. On account of its acclaimed do-it-all demeanor, Airedales dominate in a wide range of sports and family exercises. They are really high energy dogs and need lots of exercise and space to run, play and be free. So if you live in an apartment, this may be an issue for your Airedale. Also, because of the intensity of their energy level, first time dog owners may have problems keeping up with their Airedale. The Airedales do well with large fenced yards so they can release their energy and be playful. Looking for a jogging companion? If so, an Airedale fits the criteria. Welch Terrier. The Welch's bliss demeanor and brain all amount to one superb bundle. They are a genuine Terrier. They will be close companions with pretty much anyone. They are tender with the entire family, even children and different canines. They are high energy and all that energy requires some place to go. So ensure to keep them occupied with both physical activity and mental invigorating games. If you do, you'll have a dearest friend for life who will keep you moving. Number five, attitude. Airedale Terrier. The Airedale Terrier is unforgiving of any cruel treatment and will hold resentment against the attacker. The breed can be forceful to different canines and creatures and has a solid prey drive, which makes the Airedales hard to deal with now and again. It is said that the Airedale Terriers do not start battles, but it certainly completes them. So if your Airedale is untrained, it may not be a good idea to have a cat or another dog in the home. They are not known to be good with strangers and are therefore great watchdogs. They are kid friendly and love their human family. Welch Terriers. The Welch Terriers can do well in homes with different canines, but they must be trained in order to be dog friendly. Even though it's not ideal, Welches can live in apartments. But be aware that due to its prey drive, it will bark when it sees or hears something dubious, which can be an issue in apartments or condominiums that have a noise restriction. The Welsh Terrier can be an ideal committed ally for an active family that devotes the necessary time to meet its activity requirements. The Welches are independent and do not need excessive attention. So, if you're looking for a dog who is not prone to separation anxiety, a Welchie fits the criteria. Your Welchie appreciates time spent nestling on the sofa and fills the home with life. The Welch Terrier is confirmation that everyday routine for dog owners can be experienced without limits and that not all beneficial things come in enormous bundles, such as your Welchie. Number six, health factors. Airedale Terriers. The Airedales are generally healthy dogs, but are prone to certain health issues like all pets. The most common health issues for Airedales are allergies, cancer, hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, progressive retinal atrophy, umbilical hernias, and von Willebrand's disease. Their average lifespan is 11 to 14 years. Welch Terriers. Like the Airedale Terriers, the Welch Terriers are generally healthy, but are prone to allergies 
epilepsy, glycoma, and hypothyroidism. Their average lifespan is 12 to 15 years. It is recommended that your pet visits the vet for periodic checkups and for annual vaccinations. Fun fact, both breeds were recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1888. Did I miss a distinct difference between the two breeds? Do you have a terrier story to share? Let us know in the comment section below. And please watch our next exciting video, The Shetland Sheepdog, 10 Fascinating Facts.